been a while since we did a wet cloth. And wet cloth, you say, where did that come from? Well, my grandma used to say when we spilt something, we get a wet cloth and clean it up. Well, that's where I got the wet cloth from. Today we're going to put the wet cloth to the Lord's Prayer. And you're not going to see my face today. You had the Microsoft Word. The Lord's Prayer is actually John 17. You would leave it to the Catholics in their tradition to mess it up. We have two places in the Bible. We have Matthew 6, 7. And we have Luke 11, 1. Now, first of all, Matthew 6, 7, but when ye pray, use not vain repetition. Well, what do you think you're doing? Our Father art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hail Mary, you full of grapes. Hail Mary, you full of grapes. That's vain repetition. You are violating the scripture very often. Well, when they pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. Oh, that's why the Catholics do it. They're heathen. Matthew's written to Jews, not Gentiles, not Catholics, not Baptists, not Christians. And Jesus looks at the, at the, at the people that are Jewish. Hey, that's what the heathen do. That's what the Catholics do. They're heathen. For they think that they, for they think that they shall be heard, for their much speaking. Yeah, you know, our Father out in heaven, 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 our Father out in heaven. They think God hears that crap. It comes from the Bible. Well, I'm going to show you. There's two different verses. Never mind all the ver all the Bible versions out there. I quote from the Bible, the King James. So that begins Matthew's prayer example. Matthew 6, 11, and Luke 11 are prayer examples. The Lord's Prayer is in the Gospel of John 17. Now look at Luke 11, 1. And we'll be going back and forth, so for the video, be able to do this. It came to pass that as he was praying, he's praying. Matthew 6, he's not praying. He was praying in a certain place when he ceased. He stopped praying. One of his disciples said unto him, So Jesus is off praying. Respectfully, the disciples wait for him to finish. Then one steps up and says, Lord, teach us to pray. As John taught his disciples. Now what Jesus is going to go in Luke 11 is teaching. Not reciting. Now you'll never see the Catholic Protestant Lord's Prayer in Matthew 6, 11, 1. Quoted or said by any disciple, any apostle, any Christian. In the Bible. In the King James 1611 Bible, the 66 book. Now, to go into Matthew 6, verses 5 through 8, when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues, that's Jewish, and in the corners of the church. There are people that go out in the public, I'm going to pray. I've been in churches. I, I remember my, our very first church, and there's one man. I'm not going to say his name. And when the pastor called on him to pray, he's like, oh, brother. He is going to have a sermon prayer long. He say, brethren, That they may be seen of men. So there are people who pray just so people say, oh, look, he's praying. You're going to find out when we get to the judgment seat of Christ. That little unknown saint that sat in your church that no one 
knew, no one cared about, no one associated. They're going to find out that person, male or female, they're going to find out their prayers did much. Rather than a big show off in the church. They had their reward. What's their reward? Hey, look at them pray. All right, congratulations. Hey, let's give them applause. All right. That's not the kind of reward you want. But when now praise, okay, here, when you're going to pray, enter thou the closet. And when thou shuttest the door, prayer closet, comes out of the Bible, Pray to thy Father which is in secret. Don't make a show of it. Thy Father which sees in secret shall reward thee openly. Prayer is not, look at me, look how long I can go, look how wonderful I can pray. And then you, you'll be in a church service and the pastor will call on somebody to pray. And when you hear their prayers, like, they don't pray. What was that? You got the person who can't pray because they don't pray, and you got the person who's waxing elegant. Oh, look how wonderful I am. But when you pray, use not vain repetitions, which is the Catholic Protestant Lord's Prayer. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not. The Lord is my shepherd. Hail Mary, you're full of grace. Hail Mary, full. That's vain. Nowhere in the Bible. As the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Again, like I said, there's some that they go long and pray. You know, a long prayer in the Bible was Solomon at the dedication of the temple, but that served a purpose. It wasn't written down, it came from the heart. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth. What things you have need of before you ask. Then we get into Matthew 6, tradition, the Lord's Prayer. Which is not the Lord's Prayer. The disciples in Luke 11 come up to him after Jesus finished pray, praying, Lord, how do we pray? Then we go into Luke's Lord's Prayer, which is not the Lord's Prayer. Matthew 6 and Luke 11 is a prayer outline. It's not a prayer. So watch, let's see what we got here. you watching the video. After this manner, therefore pray ye. So after giving an example of what a prayer life, an improper prayer life, Matthew 6, this is how you pray. The manner. Not the way. The manner. The example. Even the Catholic Church will tell you that, quote unquote, I'm going to say the Lord's Prayer is what they call, is a model prayer. In the Catechism it says model prayer. Even they admit that this is not to be a prayer to be prayed. So they go against their own teaching. They go against the Bible. Now, Luke 11, after asking Jesus how to pray, he says, when ye pray, say. Now, okay, here we go. We can say this. Look here, Luke 1. His disciples. It is before the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. There are no Christians. And never once in 66 books of the King James 1611 Bible do you see any of these prayers recited. Okay, so here's the model prayer. In Matthew 6 and Luke 11. Our Father which is in heaven. Our Father which is in, which in heaven. Okay, you pray to God the Father, Jehovah, the Almighty God in heaven. Mary's not your father. You don't pray to Mary. Allah is not God. You don't pray to him. India has quadrillion gods. 
They're not the Father which is in heaven. Now there are Satanists who pray to Satan. He's a small f, John 8, 44, and he is in heaven. Job 1, Job 2, Revelation 12. Hallowed be thy name. Now Satan's name is not hallowed. Hallowed be thy name. The holiness of God's name. God said, be ye holy for I am holy. You're not to take the Lord's name in vain. That's what it's saying. Don't you DD, GD. Don't you Jesus Christ as a cuss. When you use the name of God, you reverence it. And it's even to, for the Jews today. They won't write G-O-D. They'll write G-D. That's how they honor and glorify God's name. Is it right? Is it wrong? Well, unless they don't come to the Messiah, they don't know who God is. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. A Christian is not looking for a kingdom. We're looking for a man. We're looking for the Savior. We're looking for the groom. Not a kingdom. Now we will get in a kingdom. The church has never been promised land like Israel. Now the Catholic Church is looking for kingdoms. The Catholic Church has started wars and fueled and fired wars and sent troops and pay for truth. And mission Columbus. To go out there and get land. In the name of the Pope and the Catholic Church. That was the congregationists that were the pilgrims. In early America. When America became that new hope. The new Israel. A child of God born again by the blood of Jesus Christ is not looking for a kingdom. He's looking for a man. He's looking for his Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. The blessed hope. Thy will be done in earth as in heaven. Well, look at Luke. Thy will be done as in heaven, so in the earth. Okay, so which one do you do? That's not the same. And God's will will be done no matter if you pray it or not. Oh, that Christian is not praying for my will. Oh, that church is not praying for my will. I guess I can't do it. Ridiculous. And the Catholics are about peace, 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 peace. Well, what if God's will is to bring judgment, judgment, judgment? Give us this day our daily bread. Give us day by day our daily bread. Uh-oh, two different ones again. And this is where the Catholics get their nonsense, the daily bread. Their perverted Bible, daily, unbible reading. You know why they got the daily bread? So you open up the daily bread, you don't open up the Bible. And that nonsense is in a Southern Baptist church today. Brought in by a deacon, brought in by a Sunday school teacher, he brings that nonsense daily bread, and he's trying to hand me one. I said, don't give me that garbage. That's stale and rotten. Give me the King James Bible. All right, that was extra. You didn't need to pay for that. All right, so this is a prayer for the Jews in the tribulation period when there's no food and there is food. The only way to get that food is by receiving the mark. The Jews are not going to receive that mark if they're going to glorify God. 
They're going to have to go off into the wilderness prepared by God where God's going to have to feed them again like he did in the wilderness. Now, is a Christian supposed to pray for that? Wasn't there a time in the perils of Paul that he said he hungered? And he was at thirst? Evidently, I guess Paul didn't pray this prayer every day, this day or day by day. Because there were times when Paul was starving. Maybe Paul didn't pray this prayer. Paul didn't need to pray this prayer. I don't need to pray this prayer. Sorry, that was my phone. Forgive us our debts. Oh, every American wish we had that one. America's answer to that is bankruptcy. But Luke says, spoken by Jesus two different times, forgive us our sins. Talking to the people, he says, forgive our debts. Talking to the, the disciples, forgive us our sins. Talking to the people, he says, give daily bread. Talking to the disciples day by day our daily bread. Which one do you pray now? Maybe you got a Catholic one, maybe you got a Protestant one. I don't know. Listen, I was a Catholic for 18 years. St. Mary started to see New London, Connecticut. I can't remember the name of the road now. Ooh, Huntington Street, was it? I can't even remember the name of the road. Every Saturday night. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Jesus didn't say that to his disciples. We got two different prayers here. Now let's run back through it again. Our Father in heaven, pray to God in heaven, the Almighty God. Hallow his name. Don't even use his name just to use his name. Many, oh my Jesus, I just love Jesus. Oh Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There are people who go to church, they use the name of God, they don't mean it. They don't use the name of God Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thy kingdom come, but we're, we want Jesus to come. We want the rapture. The kingdom comes seven years after the tribulation, after the rapture, excuse me. The kingdom comes seven years after the rapture. Thy will be done. God's will will be done no matter what, if you pray or not, Christian. Now, we can ask God for certain things. I'm asking God for one particular thing right now. If it would be his will to answer this prayer. On earth, I feel I need this prayer. In heaven, that, that we can glorify and hear, well done, and earn rewards. It is proper for a Christian to say, Lord, my food, I need to eat. But we need to recognize even the great apostle Paul hungered. We ought to 1 John 